Hello, my name is Shane. I'm just going to speak a little bit about the importance of breathing and yoga. So in yoga, the breath is often referred to as pranayama. So prana represents the, the inner breath. Yama means restraint or control of the inner breath. This is pranayama. So in the Ashtanga Vinyasa tradition, which I teach, the Ujjayi Pranayama is very crucial. It's probably the most important thing to the practice. So Ujjayi Pranayama, Ujjayi means upward victorious, and again Pranayama. Prana is the, the inner breath, Yama is the restraint of the controlling of the inner breath. So Krishnamacharya, who was the co-founder of Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, was his student, Patabi Joyce. So Krishnamacharya, and I paraphrase, said, if you could breathe, you could do yoga. So the breath cannot be overemphasized enough in the yoga practice. So each day we probably breathe about 22,000 times in a given day, on average. 22,000 times. <laughs> so, probably for a lot of that time, you're probably not conscious or aware of your breathing. When we get stressed out, and there's many things that stress us out in daily life, in the modern times we live in, in daily life, we have work stress, relationship stress, family stress, school stress, stress. So if we were living in the wild and not modernized, there would be the flight or flight response, which is crucial to, for animals to have it, to survive. When this happens in life, we tend to shorten our breath. So when we get stressed, our breath becomes more shallow short. We want to do the opposite and have a full, even breath to move through the stress. You've probably heard of type A and type B personalities. The type A personality is very driven, but it's probably stressed despite the drive. The type B personality is very driven, but at the same time, they are calm within the stress on average. So, Again, back to breathing. We'll just simplify and call it breathing instead of pranayama. So with breathing, in the yoga practice, we try to have a smooth, even breath, keeping the breath more or less even as best we can throughout the yoga practice. So an easy way to, to know, to find the breath, is to count the breath. So maybe inhaling for one, two, three, Four, exhale, one, two, three, four, and continue. And a simple gauge of this is if a count of four is easy, then moving to a count of five, six, etc. And you could speed up the count. So maybe inhaling for one. Exhale. So that was a count of 10 for each, but keeping the inhale more or less even. So basically, throughout a practice, throughout a Ashtanga Vinyasa practice, you, you find your breath, whatever that might be. You know, so but basically, I did maybe a slow count of 4, or maybe a quicker count of 10, or whatever your count. Keep it even. So inhale for count of 5, exhale count. Five, etc. So you try to keep that pattern for the entire practice. Maybe initially counting might be useful, and maybe eventually the count falls off. When the form is ripe, the, the form leaves and boom, there you are. You 
right. 